Hello there, you guys. This is going to be your weekly love guidance for December 26th through January the 1st. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my True Love reading cards for this spread for the week. All right. So it takes me a while to shuffle these cards. So I will be back with the cards already pre-shuffled, okay? All right, so that took me a while. So I've laid out all of the cards, as you can see. Um, I will pull them up so you can see them individually. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. So what is it that you can learn from the other party this week? Your love interest, your partner, um, whether you're single and you are attracted someone, or attracted to someone, interested in someone, um, dealing with someone, dating, or you're in a serious relationship with this person, what is it that you can learn from them this week? And they're both synchronized for you and for them. They have you have the gardener, they have the garden. Okay which is kind of weird. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So what is it that you can learn from this other party? You can learn, I'm getting some type of technique or ways or skill, natural skill that they have to create something, manifest something for themselves, bring something that they desire on this, like it's, they are that person that can make things happen, like taking adopting that energy into your own life and into your own self outside of the connection of whatever the relationship is between you. Somehow, it's somehow this benefits you in your own life or your own situation. So I don't know if that makes sense to most of you, but something about this other individual that you can learn from their skill and how to manifest and bring things like they're very hardworking. They know how to execute their creative endeavors or make things for themselves. So for instance, say if they tell you, I'm going to get that car one day, watch, I'm going to have that car. And you would think, yeah, right. How are you going to afford that? Or how are you ever going to get a car like that? Or you already have too many cars or, you know, just any scenario where you'd be like, yeah, right. But this person somehow just comes up with that. Like, watch me get a, a trip to Hawaii. And you're like, yeah, right. This is like, you know, that type of person that has that. It's almost like they're a magician. There's something that this person has that ability that you know of. And it's like, how can I create that for myself like that's something to learn from that's going to benefit you in your own life but also somehow in the situation for you what they can learn from you this week is the garden they can learn some creative techniques from you as well you have something to bring to the table it's like if you guys work on your own using your own skills somehow they are they can they work compatible they complement the other somehow so it's like you're the person that manifests or, or not manifests it's like you are the visionary the the daydreamer so it's like the seed okay it needs a womb to plant itself it needs the soil to plant itself so it's like you are the womb which the seed can be created or you are the seed in which the womb um can create itself or place the seed into its womb, if that makes sense. The garden and the gardener coexist together. They need each other. So if you can see here, the woman, it's kind of odd. So the woman is a masculine, feminine um, polarity here. So the woman sitting here daydreaming and fantasizing in this garden. And here's the man working. So one of the persons are the visionary and the other person is the one that brings it about, that creates it, that makes it real. So they're equally important. So it's like you both share these different dynamics that work together. It's like the act of sex. You can't have, you can't bring a child into the world without that, that 
the vagina and without the penis. Or I don't, I don't know how to say it any better than that. Or you can't plant a flower without the seed into the soil. It's like you, you got to have those things together, if that makes sense, to make something happen. So I'm getting like this creativity that you can learn from each other, maybe even work together, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to read the rest of the cards and see what else comes up and see if that's explained a little more deeper. <clears throat> so what it is that you expect from the other party this week? You have abundance. Okay, so you expect from the other party something to manifest, something to create. It's like your energy is a little optimistic, a little more hopeful. But it's like you see all of these things that you that you could have or that you create and you're very optimistic you're very excited about this in some way some of you may have had some type of vision that you wish to bring forth i know that this kind of resonates with me so i, I hope i'm not the only one but it's like you see these things for your life if you're dealing with a love situation, you also see something with this other individual in it. You have a vision of the future, something that you wish to manifest or create. So you're expecting something to come of this. You might even be the garden right now. You might be that woman in the garden who is having these visions, creating, daydreaming, fantasizing, uh, doing visualization techniques or something like that. And the other person could very well be working on something or wanting to work on something or put their hands into something. All right. What is, it is that they expect from you this week, worthiness. I'm getting, when I pulled this card, I got, they want you to see yourself how they see you. See your value, see your worth, see your value. Like I'm getting, see your shine, see your light, see your truth, see the truth of who you are, see yourself, how they see you. If you look here, the reflection is totally two different people. So it's like, you're seeing yourself one way and they're seeing you another way. They want you to see yourself in this beautiful light because they see you in that light. They see something very valuable in you. Something fruitful, something loving, something nurturing, something powerful. Um, they see you as this, for some, this sounds cheesy, but for some I'm getting, they see you as the perfect partner. They see you as the ultimate woman or ultimate man. It's like they want you to see yourself much higher, okay? So they expect for you to start looking at yourself a little bit differently. They might even be picking up or seeing a shift in your energy, how you're treating yourself, whether you're treating yourself very low or you're starting to take care of yourself more, your appearance, nurturing yourself, focusing on your values, Maybe you're not that focused on them. Maybe you're focused on themselves. So they expect you to start building up your worth. Okay. Um, how it is that you can be more supportive of this other individual this week. And you have the Divine Masculine. <clears throat> Another card came out with this. It, the um, Soulmate card came out with this. But I put it back. And it came out again in another, another um, position. But what I'm getting... How you can be supportive of this other person is to speak to their, whether they're a actual male or they are female, speak to this aspect of them, Put speak life into them, uplift them, encourage them, nurture them, um, point out not the flaws, but point out their, their strengths. Maybe things that they don't recognize, but you do. Speak to them, their higher self. Like tune into the aspects of themselves that are valuable or that you see as valuable and how it can be. Like it's, you know, your friend, you uplift them and you tell them, you know what, you're a good writer. You should really write. I don't know why you, you know, you write these things every day. You send me these little notes that uplift me. Why don't you? Why don't you write a book or why don't you start posting your writings on a blog or why don't you share these things? 
you know, just certain, like how you would uplift your friends or your family member. Do the same for this person. Speak to the creator in them or speak to the I amness of who they are. Show them that you are powerful, that you are capable, that you are valued, that you are a strong person. However you encourage them, whatever you see in this person, that is how you can be supported by speaking to their strengths, their talents, their divine gifts, how they can be supportive of you or how they will be supportive. They have the sacred woman. So they might speak to you on a energetic level. So this is like spiritual. They might not physically be able to do this or do this. But how they're being encouraged to support you this week is to speak to your heart space, the truth of what you want. Tune into who you are and your power as a person to create and give life to something. Give birth to your true desires. Tune into the passion of your heart. Let your soul shine through. Let your heart shine through. This is like them supporting the dreams within your heart. The things that are true to your heart. The truth of who you are. It's like they'll be speaking to you in that space. And that supports you. That somehow it supports your desires. Your ability to want to manifest. To create even more. So if they come to you and they say something that kind of sparks up this hope within your heart's desires or your heart chakra, they could do this energetically. However they come, that's how they're they're being encouraged to support you this week. <clears throat> so what it is that you can work on to be a better partner or person in the situation, you have spiritual maturity. Okay, so how you can be a better person or partner this week is to walk the path of your spiritual truth. You've learned a lot of lessons, you've evolved, and it's like somehow you can help them and assist them as well. They might not be as spiritually in tuned as you are. They may not, you know, they might need help on their journey. They may not even know they're on a journey or on a spiritual, you know, quest of self. They may not realize that you, you've been on this long enough or longer than them somehow. Somehow you being the better person requires your teaching possibly, your encouragement, um, your support of them. Because they might be going through some uphills as well spiritually and they might not realize it. But you do because you've been there before. So it's like you have the enlightenment to light the way for them or to help them, okay? For them, they have soulmates, um, how to be a better partner. And I'm getting that they need to follow their soul's truth of what they want, allow themselves to transform within this, this situation, this connection. Um, if you're partnered with someone, it's like they, they realize that you are their soulmate, but they're having trouble with like matching you or making things work together or somehow being your divine complement. They don't know how to bring whatever it is to the table. They're not sure of what they can bring for others that you're interested in a person or you're dating someone. It's like they need to work on what they bring to the table or what type of person they have to know who they are a little bit better they have to allow themselves to transform, not be fearful of their soul's truth or their soul's calling, okay? Because somehow it's causing a friction, okay? So what it is that the, your partner or the person that you're um, dealing with this week needs from you, you have forgiveness. So they need you to open your heart to them, not shut them out. Because some of you have put up some boundaries and said, you know what, F this, I'm not dealing with this anymore, or I can't anymore. Just kind of shut the door physically or energetically. So it's kind of like just putting the brakes on something or putting a wall up. And it's like they're needing you, excuse me, to forgive them but somehow it's like they're wanting you to forgive yourself okay because it's like you might feel stupid that somehow you sabotage yourself 
you fooled yourself, you tricked yourself again, or it's my fault that this isn't going the way it's supposed to, or my fault that something went one way or another, or something like that. But they're wanting you to forgive yourself ultimately to be able to forgive them because it's like you're beating yourself up for what you might not have any control over or what might not even be as bad or detrimental as you're perceiving it to be. So it's like being more light on yourself, being a little more softer with yourself helps you by forgiving yourself helps you to forgive them because it's like you see the truth of the situation a little bit deeper for what you need from them you have compatibility so it's like it's like you want them to match what you're putting out there you want things to to be reciprocated or to be balanced okay so it's like these two people are either saying hello or saying goodbye but they're both reciprocating the gesture so it's like you need for them to reciprocate what you're putting out Okay, one person can't say bye and the other person just, you know, fly away and not say anything. So it's like something you're desiring to have a reciprocation or something matched or something a given or receiving type of energy. All right, so I'm going to pull a card from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. Okay. <clears throat> As a outcome card or additional guidance or advice from spirit this week so tune into the energy this week and the person that you're inquiring about or the situation in the areas of love that's for clarity from the divine spirit for the collective for their situations their individual unique situations all right express your love Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So you're being guided to express your heart, whether you do it to this person or just need to release your heart, whether it's writing, whether it's through recording or to another person, however you're being guided to express yourself. The time is for you to do that, and it's going to bring about some type of healing to yourself, maybe into the situation, maybe the other person, it will help them feel a little more grounded or a little more confident with whatever you're saying, whatever you're speaking. It's going to help make light of the situation. So you're going to find healing with expressing your heart. Okay, you might have to tell someone how you feel about them or you might have to express your feelings of what's going on inside of you to another person. Okay, um, but overall guidance for you is to express your love, express your heart, express your truth. All right, so that is your reading for this week, you guys. I hope that this will be helpful. I send you all lots of love and light as always. Until next time.